Today I want to share with you the top 10 books that every lifestyle entrepreneur, everyone who's aspiring to build a lifestyle business should read. Now, if you're wondering who is a lifestyle entrepreneur, a lifestyle entrepreneur is someone who builds a business that supports their lifestyle. It's more focused on the rewards, the life rewards, than it is on the monetary rewards or on some giant mission that you have. Your business, your lifestyle business supports what you want to do with your life. Maybe you want to travel more, you want to spend time with your family, you want to do fun, adventurous things, you want to work on your schedule. That is a lifestyle business. Rather than letting the business run your life or your job or your career run your life, the business supports the life that you want to live. You're not looking to build a large scalable business with uh, large teams and huge infrastructures. You're really looking to build a business that supports the life that you want to live. So in this video, I'll give you the 10 best books that will help you build and grow your lifestyle business. Now, I will give you some examples of lifestyle entrepreneurs, bloggers, podcasters, YouTubers, influencers, online business owners, e-commerce business owners, experts of different kinds, authors, trainers, all of these. These are uh, the traditional lifestyle business entrepreneurs. All right, so now let's talk about the 10 best books for lifestyle entrepreneurs. Coming in at number 10, are two books in one actually by Gary Vaynerchuk, Crush It and Crushing It. As many of you might know, Gary V is a social media marketing guru. He's a best-selling author. And all around, he's a really smart entrepreneur who talks a lot about building a business around your passion. So his first book on this topic was Crush It, in which he talks about how anyone can build a business around their passion using the power of social media today. And the key ideas, some of the key ideas in the book that he talks about are that passion is a really important key in building your business. And what you need to do is create relentless content, create a lot of content on the topic, something that establishes your spot in the marketplace, something that will educate your customers and potential buyers about your products and services. And the key is to choose a medium that fits you best. Choose a medium, maybe whether it's podcasting, whether it's video, whether it's blogging, whatever it is. Choose what you would enjoy the most and go create content on that medium. I did a full summary of this book and you can find the link in this mind map as well and I'll put the link in the description below. The next book he wrote on the same topic it was Crushing It, which is the sequel to Crush It. And in that, he shows stories of how a lot of different lifestyle entrepreneurs who followed his advice from Crush It, Crush it are now crushing it. A lot of great stories of different bloggers, podcasters, YouTubers, and such. And he talks about quite a few uh, business slash marketing strategies in the book as well. One of my favorites is he says, the best marketing strategy in the world is caring for your customers. The more you care, the more they're likely to buy. It's really as simple as that. And another thing he says, which I really love, he says, in your business, you want to be 51% altruistic and 49% selfish in order to grow your business. This is a consistently common advice. Um, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, he says, in business, you can either be a missionary or a mercenary. And if you are a missionary, in the long term, you'll end up making a whole lot more than someone who is a mercenary, who is just in it, who is just in it for the selfish reasons. And you might be wondering, what is Amazon's mission? Amazon's mission is customer service, is deep customer service, intense customer focus, and they are true to that mission. So, 51% altruistic and 49% 49% selfish. You want to be in that sweet spot in order to grow your business. You see, when you consistently give more than you receive, you will actually grow your business. You will make it in your business. So always think about what you can do for them rather than what you will get out of it. That's the key. And I did a full summary of this book as well. Some of the best ideas from this book. Uh, the link is in the mind map and I'll drop it in the description below as well. All right, coming in at number nine, is Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. Russell Brunson is the founder of ClickFunnels, which is a marketing software. And I think at current valuation, it is valued around $1 billion. In the book, Russell Brunson talks about how to turn your expertise, your knowledge, your experience, your talent, your skills into a thriving business and get paid 
for their expertise. And not only that, he talks about how to build a mass movement of people who want to learn from you, who want to hear your message. And he talks about the three phases of building a mass movement. First, you become the leader, then you enroll people in the cause, and then you show them the new opportunity, the new way forward. And Russell literally shows you the path of building an expert business, how to generate leads, how to sell your expertise in forms of online courses, live trainings, books, etc. And he talks about how to build the perfect marketing and sales funnels for your business, the email marketing funnels, the webinar funnels, the video sales letters, and all those things. You have to have all of these different marketing pieces in place in order to be able to sell your expertise online. And that's what Russell Brunson teaches in this book, Expert Secrets. Highly recommend this book if you are an expert of any kind who wants to monetize that expertise. The next book I highly recommend is Content Inc. by Joe Polizzi. Joe Polizzi, what he's advocating is that there is a new kind of business model, the content business model, where you start off by first building your audience by sharing your content, which showcases your expertise and then you sell to that audience. So you first build your audience and then you sell to your audience. And he outlines a six step process for building your online business. And he says that the sweet spot, you first have to go find, the first step in the process of building your online business is finding your sweet spot. Identifying the intersection of what you are really good at and what you're passionate about. The intersection of your competency and your passion. That is the first step in building a content-based business. The second step in building your content business is having a tilt, having your own unique voice, having your own angle, having your own way of saying things, which is different from what others are saying. Yes, at 2000 Books, we do summaries, and there are other businesses that do book summaries, but we have a different angle. We're focused on the ambitious people. We're focused on the entrepreneurial people. And we have a very different approach, a very different angle. We're focused on very actionable advice. We're fo focused on very specific, hands-on, actionable advice, which is not what every book summary does. So every business, content business per se, you have to have your own angle. You have to have your own twist. You have to have your own voice in order to be able to create a following. The next step, the third step, is to build a base. Establish that one channel, whether it's your YouTube channel or podcast or blog, where you will consistently create content, where you will consistently build your audience. The next step in the process is to harvest the audience using the power of social media and SEO to convert your visitors into subscribers, your email subscribers. The next step, the fifth step is diversification. How to grow your business by expanding into multiple delivery channels, into multiple different kinds of channels. And the next step is, or the last step is monetization, which is how to monetize your expertise. Joe Polizzi talks about all of these steps. He explains all of these steps in this book. Highly recommend if you want to build a content first business, content first business for your lifestyle entrepreneurship. Here's the thing, a content business is really, it's really in line with lifestyle entrepreneurship because you can literally generate content wherever you are, wherever you are. With a phone today or with a computer in, or with a laptop in front of you, you could be writing, you could be typing, you could be creating blog posts, you could be creating videos, you could do all sorts of things. You can create blog posts, podcasts. I've literally recorded podcast episodes while I was traveling in India, while I was in Bali, while I was in Thailand, all over the place. I've recorded videos. I've done all of those things. The content business allows you to build a lifestyle business business very simply, very easily. So highly recommend you check out this book. All right, the next book I want to recommend to you is The Automatic Customer by John Warlow. This is something I'm studying right now and I find it hugely valuable. Um, John Warlow is the author of Build to Sell, where he talked about how to design your business so that you can sell it. And here's the thing, if you want to build a lifestyle business, you want to have a recurring revenue model so that you're consistently making money even when you're traveling, when you're not working, even when you're not actively launching new products and services. You want consistent new money coming into the door. So in this book, John Warler talks about how to build your subscription business, and he talks about the nine different subscription models you can create. One of which, which is very common in the lifestyle entrepreneurship community, is membership website, which is ideal for people who have expertise or passion, so you can have monthly content, monthly coaching, group interactions. 
all you really need is a group niche group a niche niche group a niche group <laughs> niche group willing to pay for high quality content and then over time you can build a value ladder and you start by selling small ticket items and over time you sell higher ticket items so that's a really simple subscription model that you can create today and that's something i'm working on right now as well another really important thing he talks about in the book which he teaches in the book is how to master the psychology of selling subscriptions how to scale up your subscription based business and how to reduce churn in your business churn is when people leave the subscription when people start to leave the business leave your uh, membership site after a few months of being there so how do you reduce that churn that's another thing he talks about and how can you expand or pivot your current business your current business model into a subscription model talks about all of those great ideas in this book the automatic customer highly recommend if you want to build a subscription based business the next book next book i want to talk about or the next book i highly recommend for lifestyle entrepreneurs is launch by jeff walker in launch you see as a lifestyle entrepreneur if you want to build a lifestyle business you need to learn you need to learn how to launch your products and get your products to your uh, get your potential customers to buy your products and services so the here is what uh, jeff walker says what what if you could launch your product so that people are eagerly waiting to buy your products just like they wait for apple products could you do that what if you could do that and the promise of the book is jeff will teach you how to do that so jeff teaches what is called his product launch formula the step by step guide for launching your products and services this is all about educating your potential customers showcasing showcasing your expertise and building a sense of anticipation urgency excitement about your product and using different types of content like pre pre content pre content launch content i have used the principles of uh, this book of from jeff walker for a very long time now to launch seven eight different products at 2000 books now so highly recommend this book for building and launching your products one of the most important lessons one of the most important lessons in the book is that your list your email list is your most valuable asset in your business your email list is your most valuable asset in your business this is your list of leads and customers and their contact information many people today and i see this all the time i see this people making this mistake time and again where they think their social media following on other channels is what is important but that is not the case facebook can take away your social media following any day twitter can shut down your accounts instagram can ban you uh youtube can ban your channels youtube can shut down your accounts all of these things can go away they can be demonetized their policy policies will change facebook's organic reach has changed a lot and way too many way too many times i see when my new business coaching clients come in they're obsessing over the size of their social media following which can be a very deceptive metric savvy business owners savvy lifestyle business owners know that the money is in the email the real business is in the email as jeff walker says your list is your license to print money so this is one of the most important lessons you can remember when you're building a lifestyle business that you want to own your own email list building a social media channel building a large instagram following or building a large facebook following or building a large youtube following but not having any way to connect with your customers outside of the platform it's very dangerous you are sitting on a one legged stool and that's a very dangerous way to build your business that's not a lifestyle business that's sustainable at some point it will go away so this book is highly recommended if you want to understand how to launch your products and services now i did a full summary of this book so you can check it out right here in this mind map and i'll drop a link in the description below as well all right the next book book number 5 is clockwork by mike mikalovich now mike mikalovich is a really funny guy uh, i have had him on our podcast multiple times i've had him on our podcast to talk about his other books profit first toilet paper or toilet paper entrepreneur pumpkin plan a lot of great books uh, early on episodes in 2000 books uh, he was there and he's a serial entrepreneur angel investor really smart guy and here's the thing about lifestyle entrepreneurship that a lot of people don't talk about which i have now come to realize that lifestyle entrepreneurship ultimately it becomes a never ending job for yourself you are consistently stuck in the survival trap the survival trap of getting through today without really thinking about tomorrow it's keeping that survival trap where you're just constantly creating content or just constantly creating courses just to keep 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 the pace up 
but that survival trap keeps you stuck from achieving your long-term vision or your long-term goals. And this book really shows you how to break free from this never-ending job you have created for yourself and how to get your business to produce higher results, more results, without you being fully involved. That's the key piece here. How do you get your business to produce results like a clockwork without you being fully involved? What Mike Michalowicz says is that it's not about doing more with less. It's about doing less with less to achieve more. Really important. Let me read that again. He says, it's not about doing more with less. It's about doing less with less to achieve more. You need to do the right tasks with your restricted time and have other people do the right tasks with their restricted time. The other people are your employees in this case. A business that runs like clockwork is about selective effectiveness, not just efficiency, but effectiveness. It's not about mass productivity. It's not about doing a lot of things. It's about selectively doing the right things that really move the dial. So this book, this book really teaches you how to build systems and processes. You will learn how to figure out the most important thing your business does, the QBR or the queen bee role in the business and making sure how that gets, how that stuff gets done no matter what. Also, you'll learn a key distinction you must make as a lifestyle entrepreneur. This is something I have struggled with and I have finally come to terms with. The question is, do you want to be the heart of the business where you are the one who delivers the QBR or do you want to be the soul of the business where you have others doing the QBR? For example, in 2000 Books case right now, I am the heart of the business because I do the QBR. The queen bee role in the business right now is doing the book summaries. I'm the heart. But at some point, I want to become the soul of the business. The soul of the business is where the other people, where other employees do the QBR. And now we are hiring people. Now we are hiring employees to do summaries. So we have other people fulfilling or doing the role, the queen bee role, while I become more of the soul of the business where I orchestrate the business, where I create systems and process and I create the whole business in, uh, if you were to look at it in a nutshell. So really important distinction you need to make. Do you want to be the heart? Do you want to be the star of the business? Or do you want to be the system creator? You want to be the kingmaker. Let others be the stars. Let uh, You are the one who makes it all happen. That is a really important distinction. And this, and then you will also learn in the book how to design your business so that it will run itself using the power of systems and people. Using the power of systems and people. And how to get your business to do more rather than getting yourself to do more. You see, the insidious challenge with productivity a lot of times is productivity assumes that you have to do more. You have to do a lot more in order to get a lot more done. But what um, Mike Michalowicz is saying is, how do you get your business to do more rather than getting yourself to do more? That's the most important thing. Then the book also talks about how to create systems and processes without writing a single document. I hate writing documents. I literally hate writing documents. And this book showed me the path of how you can actually work with your employees to consistently produce uh, high quality trainings without having to yourself write the documents. The, that itself is worth paying the price of reading this book for. Highly recommend this book for that reason. Then Mike also talks about identifying key metrics and creating dashboards that will show you consistently where your business is so that you're always running it like a well-oiled machine. Highly recommend this book. Check it out for sure. All right, book number four is Superfans by Pat Flynn. The subtitle of the book is Stand Out, Grow Your Tribe, Build a Business. You see, if you want to build a great lifestyle business, you don't really need to change the entire world, as Pat Flynn says, but you do need to change someone's world. So the key here to build a thriving lifestyle business is to convert your subscribers, your followers, your leads into raving fans who will trust you, who will follow everything you do, who will gladly buy your products and services, who will be your biggest supporters, who will become lifelong customers, who will evangelize your brand to the world. That's the kind of, those are the kinds of fans you want. They will help you grow your business. And what Pat Flynn talks about is that there is a process for converting your subscribers into super fans and the book shows you the way. Whether you are a YouTuber or a podcaster or a blogger or an author or an expert of any kind, how can you convert your uh, convert your subscribers, your customers, your leads into super fans? Even uh, 
traditional businesses, like if you're a lawyer or or a doctor and all of those things, you can find nuggets from this book to apply into your business, how to convert those people into raving fans. And what Pat Flynn talks about is a three-step process, converting the casual audience into active audience, active audience to a connected community, and a community to super fans. Um, there are a lot of great actionable tactics to convert casual audience audience into super fans in this book highly recommend if you're trying to build a lifestyle business a lifestyle entrepreneurship based business a, a business where it's all about um, connecting with people about selling to people who really look up to you then you want to create raving fans and this book will help you do that all right next book next book i highly recommend is build a business not a job by david finkel you see if you are a lifestyle entrepreneur, the assumption is that you are the lone value creator in the business. You are the lone warrior in the business. You are, yes, maybe there are some employees, some virtual admins who, virtual assistants who help you with some of the tasks in the business, but the business is ultimately dependent on you. If you stop working, the business will die. Unfortunately, what has happened when you do that, when you create that kind of business, you are stuck. You have built a high-paid job for yourself, but still it's a job. You might have a flexible job that allows you to work from anywhere in the world, but it's still a job. You might be able to work at any time of the day, but it's still a job because you are you have to put in the hours to make the money and you're shackled by this business now. So what this book argues is that if you want to build real freedom, what I like to think of as meta-level freedom then you have to build a business that is independent of you. You don't want, a lot of li lifestyle entrepreneurship um, really talks about micro freedom, which is the freedom to travel, freedom to work from wherever you want, whenever you want, uh, from whatever location you want. That is what lifestyles, lifestyle entrepreneurship's initial promise was. But I think there is a bigger promise, the meta level freedom, which is to build a business that is independent of you. And that is way more powerful. And that is something that I learned from this book that I highly recommend everyone who is building a lifestyle business should start thinking about. So you might argue that because you're an expert of some kind, your business is different or special, and it's not possible to build a business that is independent of you. But this belief is one of the most expensive limiting beliefs you have that's costing you money and freedom. The more you think you're special, the more you get stuck. And this is something that I have had to wrestle with because I am the expert quote unquote in 2000 books right now. I am the guy who has read over 1500 books. So somehow I believe that I am the special sauce. I am the one who has to deliver these summaries. But when I was talking to David Finkel, I really understood, and in the book as well, he talks a lot about how you don't really, you might think you are special, but you're not really that special. There are other people who can do the role. And now as I'm training my employees to do the summaries, I quickly realize that there are some people who can do it in a, in a great way, in a completely different way that still aligns with the philosophy and the values and the ways we do things. But they are just as good. And I was so impressed. And that sh broke my belief system that I have to do everything, that I have to be the fa I have to be the one who does book summaries for the business. I have to be the only one who does book summaries for 2,000 books. So a lot of great insights in this book. Highly recommend this. Uh, he talks about the three levels of building a business. Level one is a startup business where there's no control and no freedom. Level two is an owner-reliant company, control but no freedom. This is where I think most lifestyle entrepreneurs get stuck. You have control, but you don't have real freedom. Yes, you have the freedom to travel or you have the freedom to work from wherever you want, whenever you want, but you don't have the freedom in the meta sense. You don't have the freedom to be able to take off from work for long periods of time and the work still survives. The business will die if you do not feed it, if you do not work, if you do not do all the work that you need to do in the business. And that's where level three business comes, where it is an owner independent company where you have total control and total freedom, total control and total freedom. This book will literally teach you how to go from level one to level three business. It'll teach you how to build a business that is independent of you, that will work without you, and that can grow beyond your personal contributions, and that can literally be sold for high multiples of revenue if you ever desire to, to do so. And the critical mindset shift you need to have from going from level one or level two to level three to 
the critical mindset shift you need to have to go from someone who is really uh, from a company that is owner reliant to a company that is owner independent is go from seeing yourself as the ultimate doer and the producer and the value creator to seeing yourself as the builder of business you have to understand you are the temporary producer of the products or service until you can build your business depth depth that can replace you so the critical mindset shift that you need to have as you're building your lifestyle entrepreneurship businesses you have to go from seeing yourself as the ultimate value creator in the business to seeing yourself as the builder of business that a business that will do all the things that you do without you being present without you being involved that is a meta level lifestyle entrepreneur not a micro level uh, my, my lifestyle entrepreneur who's just focused on time and travel so really important idea here really important book here next book i want to talk about is the one page marketing plan by alan dib you see if you are trying to build a lifestyle entrepreneurship business of any kind you need to know how to master you need to know how to market your products and services so that you can consistently sell them and make money and enjoy your life there are a lot of great lessons from this book i i did a whole summary of this book and the link is right here and in the description below the key here the three key components oh let me talk about some of the great lessons from this book um from this book um, one page marketing plan the first big idea i want to talk about is the fact that there are there are three key components of a marketing campaign your market your message and your media and you have to really align all three of these components to get it all right you have to align all of these to make sure that you are able to um market to your to your customers in the right way at the right time another really important another really important lesson alan dip talks about is that to effectively market you have to stop selling and start educating stop selling and start educating when you're constantly teaching others how to solve the challenges challenges their frustrations they will automatically believe that you know the problem and you know this you know how to solve their problem and that's when they sign up for your product or service another great lesson that i learned from this book that's really changed my business he says in order to become a fast growth business you have to make more offers the more frequently you offer the higher the rate of your business growth the more frequent you make offers the higher the rate of your business growth so if you want to grow grow your business the other element of it one element of it is to make more offers the other element of growing your business fast is to create marketing systems that will allow you to consistently make compelling offers you need marketing systems to make compelling offers another really 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 important insight that i got from this book that has revolutionized my way of thinking uh, alan dip said product make you products make you money but systems make you a fortune let's take the example mcdonald's versus that burger shop that you really love that has a great burger who makes more money mcdonald's or that burger shop well maybe the burger shop makes some good money but mcdonald's is where fortunes have been made so the thing is that if you want to build if you want to build a fortune you have to create and install systems you cannot just be building products and services systems are your key to building a lifestyle entrepreneurship based business that's really important to understand systems are the key to building a lifestyle entrepreneurship business because systems run themselves even without your you, without you being involved and that's the beauty of systems so products will make you money but systems make you a fortune if you are trying to build a lifestyle entrepreneurship business then highly 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 recommend you check this book out all right coming in at number 1 is the granddaddy of all books of all lifestyle entrepreneurship books this book is the one that literally started the lifestyle business revolution and that is the 4 hour work week this book is the reason behind 2000 books the book this video you're watching is this podcast you're listening to is the result of 
four hour work week, this blog post you are reading is the result of the four hour work week. Everything this biz in this business today is the result of me reading four hour work week. It was the book that changed the trajectory of my life. When I came across this book, I used to work 16 hours a day in my uh, computer engineering career. I used to think that the only alternative to my job was building a tech startup where I would be stuck in one location for a, lo a lot of years. But this book completely changed my paradigm. It changed my thinking about business and life. This book taught me that it was possible to build a business that gives you the freedom to live the life you want to live and allow you to travel the world while running your business. It was it really shows you that it's possible to build a business that gives you the freedom to work when you want, wherever you want, what's called location independence, time independence. And what Tim Ferriss talks about in the book is that you don't have to wait for retirement to enjoy your life, to you know, to enjoy the golden years of the, your life, as they say, to travel the world, to experience life fully. You can do it now if you build the right kind of business, you build the right kind of systems and processes. You can enjoy your life while you're running your business. So this book was revolutionary for me. He literally talks about lifestyle design and business design. By lifestyle design, what he means is how to design your perfect life. Figure out what is the perfect life you want to live and design it. Design it so that you can live it. And then he also talks about how to design a business to support your lifestyle. Rather than designing your life around the constraints of your job or your career or business, most of the friends I know, most of my friends I know who are in engineering today, they have jobs where, where they are making good money, some six-figure salaries, uh, high six-figure salaries, but they're stuck in a job where they have to be there all the time. It's all the time, and not only that, they have very limited time to take off, and they don't have that freedom, that joy in life, because they're constantly having to be at a certain time, reporting to the boss, reporting to people. And this book says, you can design your life around the constraints. You can design your business to support your lifestyle rather than designing your life around the constraints of your job or your career or your business. By the way, I want to caution you uh, to make sure that you don't think that four-hour work week is the goal. The key is literally to have the freedom and the flexibility to work whenever and wherever you want. Not that you should not work at all. That's not the goal of this book. The title is somewhat misleading, but the book is amazingly, uh, the book really shows you a way forward to build a lifestyle business. And just this year, like as a result of this book, as a result of everything that I've learned from this book, I spent months running my business while I was traveling through Bali, Thailand, India, Mexico, amongst many other destinations. And I don't think I could have done it without coming across this book. So reading this book was a game changer for me. It changed my life. Now, if you enjoyed this list of books, I'm sure you will enjoy, it, uh, you will enjoy a lot of other lists of best books for entrepreneurs that I've created for you. I've created a list of the top 10 books for million dollar plus businesses, the top books for new entrepreneurs, the top books for experts. You can get all of these lists at 2000books.com slash bonus. I've also created the top books for online entrepreneurs, top books for digital nomads, top books for tech entrepreneurs. Again, you can find it at 2000books.com slash bonus. And you can also get this map and all of these um, lists at 2000books.com slash bonus. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.